Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And this video today is about print and merge, which I've never really used, but a viewer questioned how to do something. And I played around with a day and figured it out. So I've got a five by seven. He just he said he's making door numbers. So I just I'm making up a, a my page is five by seven. And he wanted to do like, you know, where you wouldn't have to draw the numbers. So you go down to file and print merge, create load document, and you kind of need to do this in order. Create a new text. So you can have a file, but we're going to create a new text. And we're not going to hit a text field. We're going to hit a number field. I'm going to put in the number 50. And I'm going to add it. And then all this is grayed out because you need to check on that. We need to uncheck that and we need to write 50 in here. And we're just going to do to 75. I'm going to hit next. Then I'm going to hit next. And I'm going to hit finish. Okay, then we're going to go to insert print merge field. And we've got our number 50. And he, his question was he wanted to be able to uh, change it to the font he wants. And that's understandable. So you can just click on your font. move. We have to move this print merge away and change it to, well, let's make it impact. Okay. I'm going to hit P on the keyboard, but that doesn't make it in the center of the print merge. To do that, you need to go up here and you need to center it, the text. All right. Perform print merge. And what it is done, but my preference is wrong. I need to make my tape, my printer size seven by five. And now my 50 is in the middle. The next page is 51. And so all the fonts are the same. They're in the center of the page and they go up to whatever number you want inside of there. And I might show that on another video. You can make it a three digit number of, uh, you know, with the zero starting at the end. But anyway, I uh, truly help, hope that helped him a little bit. And thank you for watching.